Fort Worth West Side, knowing that losing excess body fat can be beneficial, how does one know what their ideal weight should be? For the latest in health-related information and ways to save your life, check out the newsletter. Ideal weight. That's a challenging concept. You'll hear me do it. I tend to say you want to be in the low 20s for BMI and people say, oh, that's just too skinny. Your wives start looking at you and even your, you know, your spouse says you're too thin. No, you're not. But that's one way of looking at it. The ultimate definitive way of looking at it is DEXA scan. DEXA technology is out there, but here's the problem. You see it in a few large cities, but not very many. The people that own these devices just don't make enough money. Now, how does it work? It actually shows you the amount of muscle and body fat. So you'll see these obese people that have, this is their thigh, but their muscles are here. And they may actually be in better shape than someone who's got tiny legs, but their muscles don't start until here. So it's the ratio. It's how much body fat you have. And how do you work on that? Lifestyle, high intensity interval training, decreasing your carbs, making sure that you get that significant resistance training. And Every year we get past age 30, 40, we get more and more opportunity to get cardiovascular inflammation because we're decreasing the muscle component of our body and increasing the fat component. It's all about that ratio. Start with a low 20s, 20 to 22 BMI, but again, adjust. And you may say, well, wait a minute, I've got more muscle than that. Okay. In fact, you know, there's an example of somebody with a BMI of 30 who had what? Less than 5% body fat. His name's Arnold Schwarzenegger. So if you've got a BMI of 30, you still might be healthy in this space. If you look like Arnold Schwarzenegger did, 1981, the year he won Mr. Universe. If you don't look like that, your BMI of 30 is probably dangerous. Now, here's another way. If you don't have a DEXA scan, it's called the jiggle test or the jump test. And you take your shirt off, you jump up and down in front of a full length mirror and everything that jiggles is body fat. And you say, well, what's optimum? You know, everything that jiggles is body fat. And you say, well, I got to have some body fat. Yeah, you got to have body fat but you don't have to have body fat that jiggles in order to be healthy. So a couple of different ways of looking at it. BMI, BMI adjustments, and the jiggle or jump test. I hope that helps, Fort Worth. Great question. Thank you.